Hello, and welcome back to Busby Gaming. I'm Tony, and today we're going to play another indie horror game called Ethel. Now, I don't know anything about this. This was actually suggested that I play this from a viewer who saw the Psalms video that I did here about a week or so ago. I thought it was probably one of the scariest games of 2024 so far. This particular viewer disagreed and said I should play this instead. So that's what we're going to do. My name is Thomas Myrtle. Hello, Thomas Myrtle. And I think I murdered my grandmother. You don't do that to grandma. Present day, 1963. That's not present day. Ooh. Dark and foreboding. I wonder what scary ass shit awaits me in this place. Damn, it's locked. I'll check around back. Oh, can't get in. Might as well go home. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's great. Who the hell boarded this up? There has to be something around here I can use to take these down. Typically, when it's boarded up on the outside, that's to keep something in. Probably not a good idea to remove those. Let's go find a tool, though, shall we? Horror games got a horror, yo. Ooh, an axe. I know what I could do with that. Here's Tony. What the hell's that guy doing? <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Oh, this isn't dark or scary at all. Uh, uh what's in door number one? Let's see. Some paint and stuff. And a sink. Oh, can't open it. Uh, old ass water heater. Some more stuff. And I've seen pretty much everything I have to. Grandma! We'll check this door out now. Something engraved on the lock. You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. Rhymes and riddles, not a fan. Oh, shit. December 18th, 1949. It's been a tough journey. I'm grateful to have my grandparents by my side when I had nothing and nobody else. I've been crashing on this couch for a few months now. My back has consistently reminded me of the discomfort still better than the cold sidewalk I used to sleep on. Becky, I know you'll never read this, but I'm sorry that our marriage fell apart because of my battle with drugs and alcohol. I'm proud to say, though, that I've been clean for two years now, slowly but surely getting my life back on track. However, it's not all smooth sailing. My grandmother's health is declining and it's heartbreaking to witness her struggle with forgetfulness. She tries to write new stories from her book, for her book, but her memory fails her after just a few sentences. We're doing our best to keep this from the press, but it's a battle we're fighting silently. Despite her health issues, she still gets up every morning at 4 a.m. like clockwork to make us both a fresh cup of coffee those early mornings spent together on the front porch, sharing coffee and conversation are precious moments I've always cherished. I'll always cherish. As for Paul, he's been working tirelessly lately. Our connection, once strong during my younger years, seems to have faded. He appears lost, distant. I had hoped that our shared experiences of fighting in wars would bring us closer but it seems to have driven a wedge between us instead. It's disheartening. It's a disheartening realization, but one I am determined to navigate through. Overall, each day brings our own... Bring us... Bleh, each day brings 
its own challenges and blessings and I'm holding on to the hope and grateful for a family I have even amidst the struggles we face that is unfortunate is there anybody up here police Oh, nobody's pooping in here. Looks like someone been drinking though. Who was in here? Your mama, your grandmama. <laughs> oh look, another long-winded look. It didn't destroy a place. I'll keep looking. Uh, who? Who? Who was? Who was that? Was Grandma? Is that you, Grandma? Uh, shit. One. Two. Three. Go. That's kind of anticlimactic. Hey, uh, 80s tape player in the 60s. It's kind of crazy how that's there. Ooh, a key. Looks like the key to the foundation. Paul used to swirl it on his finger anytime there was an outage. An outage, you say? Is it a power outage like we have now? I don't want to read any more letters. I'm here to be scared. Hello? Huh? Uh -huh. Picture, Grandma. Hello? Is there anybody here? What is this blank space here? You just remember picture Grandpa. Oh, fuck! Fucking the music scared me more than the picture did. Looks like a character from Beetlejuice. Ooh, another letter I'm not gonna read. Awesome. Moving on. Okay, there's no cellar doors around the house. This is the only trail that doesn't stick you right to the side of the house. There has to be something over here. I don't know why the fuse box would be way the hell out here. But it's worth looking into, I guess. Well, I got the key now, come on. come on. There we go. All right. This is dark and dingy. I got a feeling that there's a big jump scare waiting for me down there in the dark somewhere. Oop. I already have it. And Tony said, let there be light. Still waiting for something dark and mysteriously scary to happen. Does that mean that the lights work now? Yay! Uh, oh, yay! Oh! Flickering light, you say? Jump scare imminent, you say? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. Ugh! isn't funny pills okay okay why did Paul in that room was so eager anyway I should look for the key I, I just don't want to read shit the fuck is acting uh, the, uh, the Gollum Lord of the Rings 
my precious. Hi, buddy. Um, are you my grandfather? That would explain a lot. Um. Oh! Where'd you go? What the hell was that? I'm having. Am I having a fucking episode? You're seeing Gollum? Are, are you a Jake or not J.K. Rowling's? A J.R.R. A, a, a Tolkien fan? Is that weird? Uh, uh, I'm kind of embarrassed that that made me jump. Honestly. To whom I may concern, my name is Thomas Myrtle, the grandson of Ethel and Arthur Myrtle. I have no recollection of last night's events, yet I fear I may have committed a grave act, awakening beside a pool of blood in my grandmother's room, with her nowhere to be found. Our senseless argument from yesterday morning seems to have spiraled out of control. I cannot bring myself to face my family, so I am deciding to vanish. Pa, I never intended harm towards you or Grandma. I wish you were here to have stopped me. Grandma, I love you for... You... My love for you is immense. Sorry, I got my... My camera stand right in the way of that. Uh, never to remember. My love for you is immense, and I am deeply sorry for believing I had changed you right along. So the last thing I can think of is when they said Paul would have left a clue. It would be with his mother in the urn or in her picture. Figures. Last place you look. Alright, so let's go up to his art studio and see what kind of depravity Paul has been getting into. I got a feeling that we're getting toward the end here because it's supposed to only be about an hour long game. 45 minutes to an hour is what I was told. What I saw. That's not the right door. That's the right door. Alright, some disturbing ass paintings. I will say that. Big Ben. Uh, a bloody mannequin for some reason. Some paint. Paul loved his paint. There's even. Hey, a key. And a note, tonight marks the final stroke of my brush within these walls as I ready myself for the eve to come. The canvas before me depicts a man dissolving into the ether and weakness that surrounds him. The type of recording is safely secured in my study, but I'll be long gone before the ears of another ever hears it. What tape is he talking about? I need to get into that office. Where's the code? Oh yeah, that's right. This was uh, locked earlier, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Press F to activate UV light. Okay. Oh no, Billy. Oh, oh, I see a number. Nine. But, but, oh no. I, 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 I didn't notice you before. Uh, grandma, I would like some cookies, Grandma. Oh shit. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Uh, don't, 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 don't touch. No touchies. Uh, I wish bit the head. Uh, 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 turn around like that. Anything back here. 
<gasps> These fucking numbers are in the most inconvenient places. Hey. These are in the most inconvenient, inconspicuous places. I kind of feel like the, the developer of this game uh, did that just to pad the runtime. Because I've been... I don't want to investigate that. I'm going to say... Let's see. Uh, uh, it, it's not... I don't think it's in order. Because like I said, uh, with, 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 with Paul Paul being the big war buff that he is, I think I already know where this is going to go. And I think it's 1914. Because that's World War One, And based upon the years that were given, um, that would be... What, the code is what happened no what 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 what, what, what was the psst for we don't need that kind of negativity around here Alright, let's see what secrets we, we got up in this B-Hotch. Ooh, a tape for the tape player upstairs in the bedroom. Uh, quit smoking in 10 days. Probably take you longer to read the fucking book than it would the... Clicky. Was that a slow clap? Really? By now. Here's the truth. I snuffed out my wife, Ethel Myrtle, with my own hands. Craftily, I pinned the whole sordid affair on my feeble grandson. Oh, Tommy boy, you were a breeze to deceive. My hands may be dirty, but you. The pipes, the pipes are calling. the pain and another reveling in them for twisted delight pitting them against each other is child's play just drop the pills next to the addict's pitiful bedside i waltz in the virtuous savior tom and i indulge in a deceitful game of poker and as he rises to use the head i sneak a generous dose of sleeping pills into his tea sweet dreams tom you gullible pawn once Ethel was dealt with, I moved his body into her quarters. When he comes to, I'm sure he'll believe the terrors of the war made him do such a terrible thing. He won't suspect it was me. Little does he know, I had him dancing to my malicious tune. I've got him fooled. I fed him a load of lies, making him believe I'm off on some extended work trip tonight. I'd kill him too, but unfortunately, he's my cover. Here's the motive. I've gambled my life for this damn country. Yet, who gets the accolade? Not me, but Ethel. Maybe once I erase her from the scene, they'll finally acknowledge the greatness I've achieved, the masterpieces I've crafted. And if they still don't, well, this confession will cement me as the legend who silenced the renowned author Ethel Myrtle and got away with it. Son of a bitch, all these years. So you killed your wife because you were jealous of her? What a petty fuck. Ooh. Hold on. Pause. I know what this is. I walk out the front door. I probably get the good ending. Or the bad ending. Or if I go up to the attic, I'll get a good ending or a bad ending. Walking out the front door seems a little boring. So... We're gonna go to the attic. Papa? Is that you, you deceitful fuck? A 
tennis ball. You can't throw Wilson at me, Papa. It's time for you to meet your demise. Why are all the mannequins have bloody sides? Papa, are you up here, you prick? Grandma? My dearest Max, it's hard to put into words the turmoil swirling within me. I need you to understand that my love for you was genuine, but the path I've chosen was driven by desperation. Losing my mother at a young age left a void only Ethel could fill. Her book, her books became my refuge, guiding me through life. Life's trials with their message of hope and joy. The road I've taken deceiving you to enter her treasured haven was not fueled by malice, but by a sense of duty. <clears throat> In this life, I have I find it hard to find a person even the prospect of motherhood couldn't anchor me. I, 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 I changed the font so damn much. Everything in the book spells uh, the road I've taken to see you under Max for three months. I'm three months pregnant. I will ethel everything with the book of spells and your sacrifices. I'll protect the place you once called home while you cherished the books were born of all eternity. You once said you'd do anything for me and I believed you. So I slipped poison into your drink knowing you'd understand. You look so peaceful now in that bed, and I promise to protect your soul. You may rest while mine will remain here forever. Farewell, Max. Thank you for this chance, even if it means goodbye. Love always, Claire. So the girl... The girl killed the Max guy? Uh, she was with, and she boarded up. She so she left a fake note. Uh, I, I'm c so confused. So there's potentially in here. There's potentially a very dangerous fan. Either that or she's that was her in the tub. I, I don't know. I'm so confused by this game. Maybe I should have actually read read all the notes, but I I kind of breezed through them. Uh oh. Flashlight! Flashlight! I need a flashlight. <sighs> Hi! Hi! Don't. <laughs> Why do I know that my time coming up? Out of my mind, all my time ain't enough. Stayed on my grind many times, I was stuck. Had a wax the rail, rip it, tray out like I'm young, cause I am, and it seems I got a little more to give y'all than the people I'm not. Step foot in the game, y'all, last change. Uh huh, I hate them all cause I'm up and I don't even fly loud, but I'm here. I see rappers lying, dark clothes, high things. I know they hiding, but what you hiding from? You trying to run, you know I'm about to grill your ass.